Welcome everyone to Men of War 2. This game is out on the 15th of May from Best Way, a Ukrainian development studio, and Fulcrum Publishing. We can show game stats for the yeah, um, open stats. Yeah, why not? Um, thanks to Fulcrum for sending over an early access copy of this for me to check out. Uh, the game is out for 50, on the 15th of May for $44.99 USD. We're going to be playing campaigns. Um, there are three story campaigns in the game right now. The USSR Six Missions, USA Six Missions, and the uh, Germany Six Missions. Two historical or three historical campaigns. I know there's two plus bonus missions. And there's a conquest. Fight on strategic maps. We can fight as the USSR, Germany, USA, or Germany, and raid, which has 16 missions per thing. So basically, it looks like raids is the roguelike map version because it says generate a raid fight in a series of PVE battles and multiplayer battalions. Each campaign restart generates a new battle path. But we're going to stick to the story today. We're going to start as, we're going to play the, the, the Lace Project, which is the USA campaign. Of course, I don't know if, if there are certain things we have to do first. There's Learn. Okay, there's a tutorial. I guess this is probably the best thing to do first. Let's go into Training. Lots of units. Six levels. Credits, right, right, training. So there's a whole bunch of training missions. There are 12 of them. I love this menu, by the way. This is a very nice menu. Very clean. Um, but yeah, I've kind of gotten scatterbrained. Let's go into the control basics and play. But yeah, thanks again to Fulcrum Publishing for the early access to this game. I've been waiting on this one for quite some time. It's been Fun to watch the development of. I've understood the need for delays with everything going on, so. Yeah, I guess with that being said, let everything load in and we'll get started to uh, learn how to play Men of War 2. So we're going to be a third tank platoon. I like tanks. Tanks are fun. Except in Helldivers when they blow your head off. But other than that, tanks are fun when you're the one playing with them. Welcome back, Commander. Here you can see the Minivore 2 user interface. Very minimal interface so far, at least anyway. First, let's talk vision. You can zoom in or out with the mouse wheel. Nice, what? My, what nice guns you have there. Would be a shame if I used them. In order to move the camera horizontally, move your cursor to the edge of the screen. Okay, I figured that out. I've done that. In order to change the angle of the camera, hold down the middle mouse button and move your cursor up or down. The range of the angle depends on the current camera distance. To quickly move the camera over long distance, you can use the minimap. Just left click over the desired area of the minimap. You can hide or show the minimap by pressing M. You are the commander and you can customize everything to your liking. To set the side and transparency, open the minimap settings menu with control M. I'm gonna turn that transparency up. Miss the message? No problem. You can always open the message history window with H. So that N looks like ping because I accidentally pressed M.
What's the hurry if you're just rushing toward a dirt nap? Take a look around before you jump into the next mission. Very straightforward linear map. All right. Civilian, I would not be standing out here when there are two tanks. It all seems clear. You can start moving our vehicles. These tanks are waiting for your orders. First, you need to collect the units. To use this, to do this, you can use the selection frame holding down LMB. Or just move your cursor under the unit we need and press LMB. Double click to select all available units of this type. Time to move forward. Select our tanks and move your cursor to the desired location and click RMB. Send your armored vehicles to the waypoint on the road ahead. There it is. On the spot, you completed the task and a note about it appeared on the task list. You can press, you can open that by pressing O. Okay. Did the civilian go inside? I hope so. Intelligence reports indicate approaching enemies. Commander, they are marked with the red figures over on the mini-map. Order our tanks to fight back. First, select them to attack. Move your cursor over the enemy tank and press right mouse button. Click once to open fire. Double click to attack on the move. Here comes trouble. What trouble? I don't see trouble. I just see death. Uh oh. Paul Pierce, good. I see you coming over around there. Nope, not gonna happen, bud. Suck on that. Excellent work, Commander. The enemy has been defeated. Your contribution to this victory will be displayed in the match results window. Remember that you can always go back and complete any training mission again if you want to brush up on the basis of battle. Better come off. And there's our victory. Wonderful. Third tank platoon, we won. We immediately we just obliterated them. I mean, that's kind of what we did there. Close. Play a battle in any mode or complete a mission in any campaign. Complete a tutorial mission. All right, so let's move on. Let's go into uh, spawning troops. This mission introduces the rules for spawning troops and the concepts of command points and reinforcement echelon. Get the gist of logistics so that your victory is not Pyrrhic. So we're going to have access to Mountain Rifleman Edelweiss, Panzer IV tanks, and Panzer VI tanks. I don't quite know what this box is over here. Doesn't concern me though. Doesn't really concern me too, too much.
We're going to spawn through all the entities. I was going to say we'll BRB again, but it looks like it's just going to kind of run right through it. Really nice loading times. There we go. Vanguard, what's your status? HQ, all clear. We're moving according to schedule. I have an AT gun. I saw it. Take cover. HQ reporting. The enemy arrived ahead of us and has dug in, requesting immediate reinforcements. The first echelon reinforcements have arrived. Commander, you must take those positions. Get to it. Call for reinforcement. Spawn troops open the list of first echelon reinforcements. Press L and B to choose the squad you need and spawn them by right looking on the ground. Troops are always spawned at a distance from the front line. Command points determine the cost of a unit's presence on the battlefield. The first number indicates the CP currently used, and the second one indicates the maximum CP available. Logistical capabilities are represented by the image of rails that carry reinforcement echelons. To spawn a unit on the battlefield, you need unassigned CP and logistics points. The more CP are in use, the harder it is to transport reinforcements to the battlefield, and the longer it takes for echelons to arrive. Commander, use your reinforcements to push the enemy from their positions. Oh, they, they got us. Good. Get that 15th core. Nice main gun damage. Shoot that down, shoot that down. Hey, there we go. Lost that tank. No matter, we'll put another one in. Front lines are going up good. I have a tank right there. So Allen bereit, Commandant. There's our tank, there it is. Shoot that down. Shoot the fifteenth core down. The M8 Grey now. Oh, good. Oh, someone else got in it. Now you can't get in it. It's gone. Is that M16 in there? Yeah, there is. Not anymore. I see you over there. Oh, 
Our front line is doing pretty good. We'll bring some more mountain riflemen in. They have a right, just a random gunner right here. Not anymore. That cover was working for him there for a while. There's some trenches right there that some of them are in. Go over there and take that out, that rifleman. Actually, take those two, three inches out. Oh, good. Let him blow up. Shots are gone. Right, try to make the most of your troops want to keep going and don't leave them unattended. There will only be so many units and the enemy bleeding you to the point where you have nothing to fight with anymore is a distinct possibility. Today, however, you complete your mission marvelously. My congratulations, Commander. Victory indeed. That went well. I'm very happy with how that went. They got taken out. We learned how to spawn troops. Everyone did their job. And I think with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Men of War 2. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time where we're going to start the Thwarted Blitzkrieg uh, campaign, story campaign, and see what this is all about. So, yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.